Police in the Fort Worth suburb of White Settlement stopped what they say could have been a murder-suicide. Body camera video shows the response from officers after getting a 911 call. According to the chief, seconds matter. Fox 4's David Centendry live with the story. David. Yeah, police confronted that man who had multiple weapons on him within seconds. And the chief of police believes that had it been seconds or even minutes later that they may have been looking at a murder investigation. Body camera footage from one of seven responding white settlement officers reveals a confrontation with a man who police believe was ready to commit murder. Hands where I can see him. Hands up. Hands where I can see him. Get down on your knees. Face down. Face down. Don't move. And we really believe had we been a minute or two later, there would have been a murder of the victim and likely a suicide, so a murder-suicide. Chief Chris Cook says the department responded to a 911 call at an apartment complex Sunday afternoon. The caller claimed an old friend, Stephen Silva, was heavily armed and threatening him from outside his apartment. Okay, it's my friend Stephen right now. He has a gun. He found out some stuff, and now he's pissed off at me. Hands where I can see him. Officers found Silva outside the 911 caller's apartment. Footage shows a weapon leaning against the door. Police provided these photos of what they they say Silva had with him a 22 long rifle, a shotgun, and a handgun. They were all chambered, had rounds in them. Based on social media posts, based on the statement from the victim, based on the statement from the suspect, his intent was likely going to be that he may try to kill his friend and then kill himself. Police say there was a rift between Silva and the victim about a girlfriend. We see this in road rage incidents. We see this with boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives. But at the end of the day, we've got to take a deep breath and we got to calm down and get our emotions in check. Silva is charged with terroristic threat as well as unlawful carrying of a weapon. That's because police say he also had drugs on him, so he has a drug possession charge as well. At this point in time, his bond has not been set according to some online records. Do want to point out that I briefly spoke off camera with the victim tonight. He said he did not want to do any sort of interviews. He's a bit shaken up, but okay. Heather, Steve, I'll send it back to y'all. Understood. All right, David, thank you.